to my husband on our wedding day. Dear Cody, the excitement I have in anticipation of us getting married in just a few short hours is exponential. But it doesn't stop there. I can't explain the joy of anticipation I have for our future together. I can't wait to build a life, a family, and grow old with you. I know I have chosen the right person to spend my life with forever. You're strong and smart with such a bright personality and excitement for life. You make me laugh, keep me on my toes with all your great ideas and adventures. Together, we are so in sync and have built a strong foundation of communication, mutual respect, and teamwork. I know that by each other's side, we will accomplish all of life's hurdles. I want you to know that my commitment to you will be everything. I vow to listen to your worries and, and your accomplishments, give you lots of words of encouragement which you seek. I promise to be your partner and share the workload in our life together. I will try to be understanding when you need time to yourself, whether it be to play video games, my closet nerd, or watch football. I commit to being always open and honest with you. Marriage takes 100% from each person to succeed and I promise to put in the work to prove that. I vow to love you on your good days and on our bad, but know that with you there will always be more good days. I am so much looking forward to all those good days we have ahead. I love you with all my heart. Your soon-to-be wife, Elizabeth. To my loving wife, we've been looking forward to this day for quite some time now, dreaming of all the details, planning all the logistics, arts and crafting the hell out of saving money, all to lead up to this very moment. But before we move to the next stage in our life, let's take a moment to remember the foundation we've built for our marriage to stand upon. We've been dating for 1,292 days. Of those, 820 were spent living together and 400 were spent engaged. We had two big vacations, Maine and Hawaii. We have had countless weekend trips, Perchy Park, camping, skiing, pumpkin picking, apple picking, and a 10 year reunion. Had made so many pizzas together, I've lost track. These memories and so many others like them have been the highlights of my life with you. Though it's important to recognize that not every day was sunshine and butterflies. There have been rough times as well. The loss of my uncle Bill and father in less than 18 months broke me down to my core. I was lost. Without you by my side, I don't know what I would have done. You are my angel that picked me back up, brushed the dirt off, and set me back on track. Throughout life and our marriage, we will go through peaks and valleys, but there is nobody in life I would rather do it with than you. I cannot wait to share the happy times together repeatedly, but most importantly, I promise to be the rock you need when life gets hard. Marriage is easy when everyone is happy. I plan on showing you that during the hard times, I won't fail you. Please know that you can always look to me for strength. You can always share with me your deepest secrets. And you can always be assured that I will be right by your side for the rest of our lives. I just want to say you're incredible, gentle and understanding, but also strong and confident. You're someone I respect and admire. And no matter what, you're there for me. I should tell you these things more often because the truth is, I feel lucky to be sharing life with such a wonderful woman. Elizabeth, you are my best friend, my soulmate, my forever love. Loving you has been the easiest thing in my life. Our minds and hearts have proven time and time again, they are in sync. I could never imagine a life without you and I will do everything to ensure that I am the husband you always dreamed of. I love you, your husband, Cody.
I, Cody, take you, Elizabeth, my lawful wife, to have and to hold from this day forward, for better, for worse, for richer, for poorer, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish, till death do us part. I, Elizabeth, take you, Cody, for my lawful husband, to have and to hold from this day forward, for better, for worse, for richer, for poorer, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish, until death do us part. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my honor to introduce to you for the first time, Mr. and Mrs. Cody Murphy.
Okay, uh, it's time to bow our heads and thank God. Bless us, O Lord, in these thy gifts, which you are about to receive from my bounty through Christ our Lord. Amen. And bless this couple and all their friends and all our relatives. Thank you. Amen. My girls know that I never wanted a son because I love my daughters. But if I did, he'd be it. And I'm proud of all my Please raise a glass to the newly married couple. We love you. I hope you know you've not just gained a wife in Liz, but you've gained another family in my parents my, and myself. We'll always be there to love and support you too in everything you do. I look forward to starting new traditions as a family of five, even if that means forever sharing a birthday with Drew or agreeing to let you force us to play at least one board game per holiday. I could not be more happy to welcome you into the family as my official brother. So if everyone could please raise a glass, a toast to love, laughter, and happily ever after. May the joys you share today be the beginning of a lifetime of great happiness and fulfillment. Murphy, because I'm tired of calling you Cody. <clears throat> the fact that we've gone through our relationships and our engagements together has been the biggest blessing that I could have had in my best friend. You are not my best friend. You are my brother. You are truly, truly the greatest man that I have ever met. And I've gotten to see practically the whole journey. 15 years. We make each other better men every single day. And I cannot wait for you to stand by my side as my best man. And I cannot wait to see how you and Elizabeth beat the game of life. Because you're off to a wonderful fucking start. I love you guys more than anything. Please, ladies and gentlemen, the ultimate winners, Cody and Elizabeth.
thank you everyone for coming. We hope you enjoyed tonight. Love you guys.